Want to speak real Dutch from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at DutchPod101.com. In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Holland. Ben je er klaar voor? Are you ready? Let's start. The most used informal greeting is hallo. Hallo. Hallo means hi or hello. We should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. The most used formal greetings will change depending on the time of the day. Let's start with Goedendag. Goedendag. Literally, Goedendag means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use Goedendag only during the daytime, from late morning until early evening. In the morning we say Goedemorgen. Good morning. Goedemorgen. During the evening we say Goedenavond. Goedenavond. Goed is Dutch for good. Dag, morgen and avond means day, morning and evening, respectively. Easy, right? What should you say when you leave? Dutch people usually say tot ziens when leaving in a formal situation. Tot ziens. Tot ziens means goodbye. If we say goodbye to friends or our relatives, we use the informal word dag. Dag. You can also say doei. The expression doei is commonly used in informal situations. Doei. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Dutch. Let's review them all again. First, the greetings. Informally, we simply say hallo. Formally, use goedemorgen in the morning, goedendag in the afternoon, and goedenavond in the evening. When leaving in a formal situation, we say tot ziens, and in an informal situation, it's dag or doei. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Marlene's insights. In formal situations, Dutch people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. On the other hand, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we kiss each other on both cheeks, usually two or three times. Don't be afraid to do it with your Dutch friends. It's normal. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Dutch. We'll start speaking right away, but first it's important to clarify that in Dutch, there's a difference between the formal and the informal language. Let's first see how Dutch people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Hallo, ik heet Marleen. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Hi, I'm Marleen. Nice to meet you. Hallo, ik heet Marleen. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Start by saying, hallo, ik heet. Then say your name. Hallo, ik heet Marleen. Finally, say, leuk je te ontmoeten. Hallo, ik heet Marleen. Leuk je te ontmoeten. And now, let's see the same sentence in formal speech. Goedendag, ik heet Marleen van den Berg. Aangenaam. Good day, I'm Marleen van den Berg. Pleasure to meet you. Goedendag, ik heet Marleen van den Berg. Aangenaam. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these expressions together. Hallo has been substituted with the formal greeting Goedendag, which is Dutch for good day. Ik heet Marleen has not been changed. Ik heet simply means I am called. However, during a formal self-introduction, we also say our last name. So I said Marleen van den Berg. Here you would say your full name. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in Dutch is Hallo, ik heet Marleen. Leuk je te ontmoeten. The formal way to introduce yourself is Goedendag, ik heet Marleen van den Berg. Aangenaam. Now it's time for Marleen's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands. If you are not sure whether to use Leuk je te ontmoeten or Aangenaam, just say simply Aangenaam as this expression can be used in both the formal and informal introduction. If you use the correct sentence with Dutch people, they're definitely going to be impressed. Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. In this lesson, 
we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Ben je er klaar voor? Are you ready? Let's start! There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Bedankt. Bedankt. Bedankt means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add zeer at the beginning. Zeer bedankt. Zeer means a lot. So zeer bedankt is like saying thank you very much. During the last lesson, we discussed the informal and the formal way of speaking Dutch. Bedankt is the casual way to thank someone. If you want to be more formal, there's another phrase you should use. Dank u wel. Dank u wel. Let's break this phrase down. Dank is thank and u is a formal word for you. We will discuss Dutch pronouns in more depth in a later lesson. Finally, wel means a lot. The full sentence once again is dank u wel. Actually, there's also an informal form of the expression dank u wel. In an informal setting, the correct expression is dank je wel. Dank je wel. The u from the expression dank u wel is simply replaced by je. Je is the informal word for you. How do you answer? It's easy. Here's the most common response. Graag gedaan. Graag gedaan. Graag gedaan can be used with just about anybody. Literally, this phrase means happily done or I did it with pleasure. So when someone is saying bedankt to you, we can simply reply with graag gedaan. Now it's time for Marlene's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use bedankt, dank u wel or dank je wel, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Bedankt can be used with just about anyone anywhere and at any time. First you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Een man en een vrouw zijn aan het praten. Hoe oud is de man nu? Je verjaardag is echt snel. Ja. Die is overmorgen. Hoe oud word je? Ik word 60 jaar. Gefeliciteerd. Laten we het vieren. Heel hartelijk bedankt. Ik ben u zeer dankbaar. Hoe oud is de man nu? Een man en een vrouw zijn aan het praten. Hoe oud is de man nu? Je verjaardag is echt snel. Ja, die is overmorgen. Hoe oud word je? Ik word 60 jaar. Gefeliciteerd. Laten we het vieren. Heel hartelijk bedankt. Ik ben u zeer dankbaar. First you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Een man en een vrouw zijn aan het praten. Wie woont er bij de man in huis? Waarom kom je binnenkort niet eens naar mijn huis? Dank je wel, maar ik ben een beetje nerveus. Voor ik ze ontmoet, wil ik eerst graag wat meer van je familie weten. Natuurlijk. Mijn vader werkt op het kantoor en zijn hobby is vissen. Mijn moeder is huisvrouw en ze kan erg goed koken. Heb je broers of zussen? Ja, ik heb een oudere zus en een jongere broer. Mijn zus is getrouwd en woont in het buitenland. Mijn broer is een high school student. Je hebt een leuke familie. Het lijkt me leuk om ze te ontmoeten en met ze te praten. Wie woont er bij de man in huis? Een man en een vrouw zijn aan het praten. Wie woont er bij de man in huis? Waarom kom je binnenkort niet eens naar mijn huis? Dank je wel, maar ik ben een beetje nerveus. Voor ik ze ontmoet, 
wil ik eerst graag wat meer van je familie weten. Natuurlijk. Mijn vader werkt op het kantoor. En zijn hobby is vissen. Mijn moeder is huisvrouw en ze kan erg goed koken. Heb je broers of zussen? Ja, ik heb een oudere zus en een jongere broer. Mijn zus is getrouwd en woont in het buitenland. Mijn broer is een high school student. Je hebt een leuke familie. Het lijkt me leuk om ze te ontmoeten en met ze te praten. When learning a new language, it's easy to think, I don't think I'm making any progress. What if I never reach my goals? We all get these thoughts from time to time. But are they worth being scared of? What are the fears language learners tend to have the most? And how can you learn to overcome them? Here are the top four language learning fears, according to our users. Number one, I'm not good enough to start speaking yet. This is a pretty common fear or misconception that most learners have. Here's how you overcome it. The best way to get good at speaking is to start speaking from day one. You need to open your mouth and just start talking. If you think you're not good enough, just focus on the lines you want to say. Number two, I'm afraid I'll never be fluent. You've got to set small, specific goals. Make daily goals, like having just a five minute conversation. As these small goals add up, you'll be speaking more comfortably. Number three, I'm not making any progress. There are two things you can do right now. Use the dashboard to track your progress. Our dashboard shows how much you've accomplished. Or try a harder lesson on our website. The lessons come with line-by-line -line translations and the hosts explain everything. Now you can understand something you didn't minutes ago. Number four, I'm afraid of not understanding anything I hear. This fear can occur when you hear advanced grammar and vocabulary and it just goes completely over your head. To beat this, simply read along with our line-by-line -line tool. It's the best way to instantly understand advanced conversations. Translations and scripts are right in front of you. For real-life situations, learn useful phrases such as, can you say it more slowly? I don't understand. There's nothing wrong with saying that you didn't understand something. So, these are the top four fears and how to overcome them. Luckily, we also have the perfect tools available to help you conquer your fears. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. Don't let your fears stop you. Start learning now.